Now in my previous video, I have shown you guys how to calculate the tides of second reports using the simple harmonic method. Uh, today I will discuss the theory behind it. So it's, this is just a short video to discuss the theory behind it. Uh, I'll give you the link to my previous video where I've shown you the practical calculation as well in the description section. Uh, but I thought I'd discuss the theory because uh, sometimes you are asked as to about the theory of this type calculation method. So because this method is used when the graphical method of uh, tide calculation is uh, not suitable. Uh, it can be used otherwise as well uh, because this is a more accurate method of tide calculation. So today I'll talk about the theory behind the harmonic analysis of tides. Uh, so a tidal curve at any point uh, is a combination of uh, various curves exhibiting simple harmonic motion. Now each of these curves is governed by a particular effect which is caused by the interaction of the heavenly bodies like the moon, the sun and the planets. Now each of these effects form equations of the simple harmonic motion having harmonic constants. So it becomes easier to refer to these harmonic constants singly than to the whole equation. Now among all these constants, four are the most important ones and they are the ones which are considered in simple harmonic motion. So if you see the practical calculation of the tide, then you will see that we use these constants of M2, S2, K1 and O1. So you should be knowing what these constants are. So the M2 and the K1 refer to the lunar constants and the S2 and the O1 refer to the solar constants. Now results in part one of the tide tables uh, involve standard ports. They use as many as 100 or more harmonic constituents and thus are expected to have greater accuracy. However, harmonic constants are also required for some second reports for which there is not sufficient data or there is not even a standard port available. So they are also required by standard ports to find the height of tide in between times of high and low water when neither of the following criteria are satisfied. So if the rise or fall duration must be between five to seven hours and there must not be any shallow water correction shown in part three of the admiralty tide tables for that port. Now each tide producing force can be represented by a mathematical equation. Now each harmonic constituent represents a periodic change or variation in the relative position of the earth, moon and the sun. So in this case, a simple harmonic constituent is represented by the equation y equals a cos at plus w, where a is the amplitude of the constant AT plus W becomes the angle which changes uniformly and is called the phase of the constituent. And the small a in this case is the speed of the constituent and is the rate of change of its phase. The small w is the phase at initial instant from which time is calculated. So the period of the constituent is the time required by the constituent and is the cycle of the astronomical condition represented by the constituent. So here is the equation based on the interaction or the periodic change that happens in the relative position of this earth, moon and sun, which also has an effect on the tides, the rise and fall of the tides. And that's why this knowing this theory behind the practical calculation of simple harmonic motion is essential for you guys to know. Thanks.